Improving application performance. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner and ASP Runner Pro. Usually, my application is slow means one or more list pages takes a long time to load. In this example, the sales area opens immediately, but the sales listing page takes much longer. I will now share a few things you can do to improve performance. The first is to eliminate the possibility of a slow server. To do this, test your application on at least two different servers. In other words, on your local machine and on the remote web server. For local machine, you need to have the same database locally installed and the project connected to it. If you do not have a local web server installed, you may upload your application to the demo account to compare performance. On the demo account, things appear to be a bit faster, but the sales listing page is still a lot slower compared to the sales area page. Another important test is to test your online application from two different locations or by using two different internet connections. The easiest in most cases would be to test from work and then from home. This will eliminate the possibility of a bad internet connection. You can also perform an internet speed test from your current location. In my case, the listing page is slow everywhere and I now need to troubleshoot the application. The first thing you can do is go to the miscellaneous page and turn off the loading box. While this will not improve page load speed, it does improve user experience, allowing the user to see the data before the page is fully loaded. The trade-off is that some features like search panel or inline edit may not work until the page is fully loaded. Next is to reduce the number of records. As you can see, here I have 500 records per page. Display as many records as you can see on a single screen without scrolling. So a more realistic number would be approximately 20. With 500, I have to scroll down, decrease user experience as I manually try to find records. Search offers a much more effective way to find specific records. In the project, still on the miscellaneous page, change the number of records per page to 20. Reduce the number of fields visible on the list page. The golden rule is to fit all data on the screen without having to scroll either horizontally or vertically. You can add or remove columns by selecting them from the Choose Field page or from the page designer. On the list page, select the field and click Remove if you would like to remove it or select Add field and select the field you want to add in case you want to add a column. Again, try to fit all data on the screen without having to scroll. You can display more detailed information for each record on the view page. Use features like Show Add, Edit View Pages in pop-up. On the Choose Pages screen, Click Settings next to the list page. Tick Show in pop-up, Add, Edit and View Pages. Also tick Ajax Search, Pagination and Sorting. This makes your application more responsive and overall faster. A search panel on the list page with Lookup Wizard Control may slow down your application as well. 
especially if lookup tables are huge. Here I am on the list page in the page designer and as you can see I have 12 fields in the search panel. This field over here renamed to salesperson has a lookup defined over the users table. And as you can see there are substantial amount of data in this table. The solution could be to remove these fields from the search panel or use lookup wizard type edit box with ajax pop-up. In this case no data will be prefetched on initial page load. The next thing you can do is to turn on case sensitive search option. Under choose fields, search settings, tick case sensitive search. By default PHP runner search is case insensitive, which is slower though more convenient for end users. Turning this feature on results in faster searches. How to measure load speed. I will be using Firefox for this demonstration. But the same can be done with Chrome DevTools. I opened the application in Firefox, right click and select Inspect Element. Click the Network tab and reload the page. Here we have a visual representation of how this page loaded. The first PHP page took just over 2500 milliseconds to load. Click on the bar for a breakdown. We now look at waiting and receiving times. 663 milliseconds waiting is the server processing time while 1.76 seconds is the transfer time from the server to your computer. As a rule of thumb, if the server processing time is under 1 second, there is nothing to worry about. Another thing to keep an eye on is the page size. If the size of the page is a few megabytes, it will load quite slow. Also make sure you are not using a search page with large lookup tables. In case the server response time is very slow, the problem is probably within the SQL query. To print the query on the screen, change the $D debug variable to true. To do this, open the project at the output directory page. Make sure full bolt is ticked and click next. Now click bolt. Do not upload the files yet. In fact, minimize the project and browse to the output folder of the project. Open the include folder and edit the appsettings.php file with an editor of your choice. I am using notepad++. The $D debug variable is the very first in this file. Change it to true and save and close. Back at the project that you minimized a few seconds ago, click upload via FTP. Select upload all files, confirm to replace all files and wait for the upload to complete. Now open the application and select the sales list page. The first query PHP Runner executes calculates the number of records that matches the current filter. The second retrieves the data. Note the limit of 20 claws here at the end. No matter how large your database, PHP Runner only retrieves as many records as required. 
The rest is a collection of queries to pre-populate drop-down values for fields on the search panel. Remember to use lookup wizard type edit box with Ajax pop-up if the source tables populating these values are huge. Right at the beginning of this tutorial I had 500 records per page. Let's execute the same query with 500 records in phpMyAdmin. The time the query took displays in milliseconds. Let's try 20 records. And you see that just reducing it to 20 increased the speed quite significantly. Now let's run the first query in phpMyAdmin. And it runs for 0 0.36 seconds. Technically, this is fast enough. You would also recall that I do not have a real problem as server response time was under one second. Nevertheless, I will pretend this was slow only to demonstrate steps you can take in case of true slow response. Please note the WHERE clause here on the forename field. To speed up these queries, we need to add indexes. Indexes are helping databases sort and find data faster. If you need to filter over the forename field, an index over the field will speed it up. Here is how you can create an index. Please note, the example is MySQL specific. Ok, so the index is created. Let's see how it improved. And it ran a little faster. Now the difference might not seem to be a lot, but this is also not a very big dataset. A much bigger difference in speed will be noticeable on tables with millions of records. Very important, make sure to turn on case sensitive search when you are using indexes. A link to more info about indexes can be found in the description below. So what else can we do to increase load speed? Make sure your web host support HTTP compression. HTTP compression is a publicly defined way to compress content, mostly textual, transferred from web servers across the World Wide Web to browsers. The impact of compression is that the number of transmitted bytes is reduced and thus a greater performance is gained. And now something specific for ASP Runner. Thread pool model MTA versus STA. On some web servers all ASP pages generated by ASP Runner Pro load extremely slow. We found that switching the thread model on the application pool from MTA to STA resolved this problem. You will need to contact your web hosting provider in order to make this change. Turn off IIS output caching. On some web servers, output caching slows ASP applications performance significantly. Try to turn output caching off to see if it fixes the issue. Finally, 
I implemented everything here to my demo project and will test the page load speed again in Firefox in order to compare.